Hey everybody, this is part two of how to build a fan base and audience as a recording artist. All right, find out next coming up on the Music Money Makeover Show. What is going on everybody? My name is Casey Graham. Welcome back to the Music Money Makeover Show. Hey look, if you haven't downloaded the Profit Maximization Checklist or the Musician's Guide to Self-Publishing number one, you can do so down below. All right, this is stuff that's gonna help you in your journey to becoming a truly independent uh, uh, indie uh, musician. Now, we're gonna jump into the video today and we're talking about building an audience and a fan base from a digital spectrum, right? I touched on it last week in part one, today is part two, okay? But in order to do that, you have to understand how the digital landscape works. We're not getting into hashtag strategies, we're not getting into the SEO strategies, that's another video for another day, okay? And that's more in depth into the process. What I am doing in this video is explaining to you the structure of how the digital landscape works, okay? In as layman's terms as I can put it without getting to a bunch of jargon because as artists, I understand we don't have time for that. We just wanna know what works. Okay, so let's jump into the first thing. The first thing is the platform, all right? You wanna choose the platform that's gonna work for you, all right? So you, you wanna have, uh, let's say, Instagram, you got Facebook, and you got YouTube, the big three. And then you have others that are, that are coming up. You have like your Medium pages, uh, you may have your Twitch pages, and all, all this stuff like that. But the, the top three, that will work for you as a musician, more than likely will be Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. So you gotta determine your platform first. This is gonna be the tool that you're gonna use to push your material out there. And remember, we're gaining an audience. So now, once you choose your platform, then you wanna jump into the second thing. Now the second thing is the type of content. What type of content are you gonna make? Is it gonna be micro content, or is it gonna be a full length type of content, a full body, content here all right so if i'm making this video right now this will be the full length video and then i will go to instagram and i will take out the highlight points of this video and i will make micro content out of that now i recommend as a new artist if you're getting started you want to focus on the micro content first before you do the full length because if you're getting started you don't have much money to produce this content you don't have many hands on deck you don't want to overwhelm yourself with the process of production too much production will create a paralysis effect where you just you get tired of it you may get a little bit lazy you may start slipping away from things so you as an artist must decide am i going to produce micro content or full length content my recommendation is to do the micro content first as you're trying to build an audience so the production of the content does not overwhelm you you want to be able to get a lot of it out there but not cause so much you know effort to be exuded from you. Now, we gotta jump into the third thing of building this audience and this fan base in the digital spectrum. Now, the third thing is search engine optimization, right? And I got three points here to make on the search engine optimization. So we've got titling, we've got descriptions, and then we also have hashtags. Now, hashtags is, are, are probably the most popular of all, right? They go on Instagram and you can have up to 30 so far to my knowledge that I remember and that I use, you can still have up to 30 hashtags on one post. On YouTube, you can have up to three, and then these people can find you through the channels of the hashtag, and we'll touch on channels a little bit later in the video, all right? But the search engine optimization helps you, helps your content to get found within all the channels of the internet, all right, and of these platforms. Facebook is a little bit of a gray area when it comes to trying to find content or when people are looking for content to watch. Facebook's search engine optimization is mainly to recommend, in my opinion, content that's gonna scroll through your stream, right? Random content, like, oh, this person put, they're looking at this, there's a trend of this, so we're gonna throw more of that in the feed, and another person might just so happen to come up, all right? We gotta jump into point number four. Point number four piggybacks on the search engine optimization, all right? So it's channels. Where is your content going to fit into? So. If we're gonna use hashtags on Instagram, you can follow those hashtags. Those are, if you look at it in this aspect, those are like television channels. I like to think of it that way, all right? If I'm gonna put this video on, 
a music business hashtag, you will see it in the music business Instagram television channel. All right. Uh, same thing for YouTube. If I'm going to title it, you know, uh, how to build an, uh, an audience and fan base as a recording artist or as an artist, then you will find it somewhere in the education category. Now, YouTube has categories and these categories are not shown to the public, but they, based on your search or based on what you're watching, they will throw more of it into your recommended video feed, all right? And then you will see, okay, if I'm looking for how to build an audience, I'm gonna find it within, you know, this, this search parameter right here. And so it goes into that channel. All right, so when you're making your micro content or your full length content, you gotta determine which channel is it gonna go into. Now, the fifth point is utilizing promotion in the form of influencers, all right? So you got your micro influencers, you got your middleweight influencers, and then you got your major influencers. Now, if you don't like that name influencers, then use the title aggregators because when it comes to music, they're going to be aggregating content from all over the place. Kind of like the page Daquan, right? Daquan just brings in content and they create original content. But they bring in content from all over the internet, post it on their page, and then people follow it and watch it. They're not necessarily creating all of it. They just have a congregated user or viewer base. All right? And you're going to look for these aggregators or these influencers to promote your content and they're searching for your content too. So you must start making noise with the hashtags and search engine optimization, doing it properly so that people find you so that you may get playlisted or you may get your content copied and credited on their page. That's the next step that you're going for so you can step it up. You start making this content first. You stay consistent with it. Somebody will share it somebody will like it, they will playlist it, it will get recommended by the app itself, and then other influencers will start to post your content, okay? That's in a nutshell how you're gonna build digitally, all right? So let's go back over those five points once again. You gotta choose your platform, you gotta figure out what kind of content you're gonna make, micro content or full length content. You have to make sure that you use your search engine optimization, all right? You wanna use the search engine optimization to the utmost degree that the app allows you to use. And then you're gonna wanna use your proper channels on that, all right? What type of hashtag, what type of title, uh, what type of playlist, or however it is, where are, you, uh, where are you positioning this video, okay? And then lastly, you're going to want to look out for the influencers. Where are the influencers going to, are they going to pull your stuff or you want to reach out to them so that they can put your stuff on their page, all right? Anyway, that's been today's video. Oh, but before we go, I want to give you a bonus tip. The bonus tip would be your personal website or your personal, uh, you know, offline base that you're going to control to yourself. Now this could be in the form of emails, even though they only have a 20% open rate. And then this could also be in the form of like I have right here, text messaging. All right. Getting, getting people's contact and talking to them directly. This is going to be the most potent way that you can build your fan base and have a totally engaged fan base for yourself. Now I know this video was a lot. If you have any comments or questions, please drop them below or you can text me 470-291-5767 if you want to get into an in-depth conversation, all right? So my personal website for the Music Money Makeover Show is coming along and it's almost done, all right? So you all will see that soon along with the Musician's Guide to Self-Publishing number two. That will be on the site as well and it's coming soon, next month really, all right? Anyway, I will see you all next week. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe down below. Uh, and I will see you on the next video as well. Peace.